time no see. Um, welcome back. It's been a while. It's been since the end of November that I haven't been filming or uploading or anything. Not on here on my YouTube channel and also not on my blog. And I thought I take the new year as an opportunity to, you know, for a new start. But I also wanted to explain why I haven't been filming or blogging or anything. And as you can see from the title, I also have some very exciting news and I want to share them with you. But the best is just to start at the beginning and explain how my life has been over the last couple of weeks. And um, yes, this is going to be a vlog kind of video. I've never really done them before. Um, usually it was everything makeup and beauty and used up and favorites related and this is not. So um, I hope you don't mind um, if you are not into vlog kind of videos. Um, the next video for sure will be beauty related again. So um, watch out for that one. But for now I will just like go with you or walk you through the last couple of weeks in my life and how next couple of weeks are going to be. Um, so why had, did I have a little break in filming? Um, I pre-filmed four videos at the end of November. Um, it was my whole makeup, beauty routines, so my morning skincare routine, my evening skincare routine, and I also actually filmed my special skincare routine and my hair care routine. I just haven't edited them yet and obviously they are not uploaded yet. Um, the first two are the second uh, like number three and four are not up yet because I just didn't have the time. Um, at the end of November my fiance went to India for a week with his brother because his best friend got married. Um, his best friend is Danish when it comes to his passport but he is Indian as well. So they got married there and Christopher went there and I didn't join because I basically didn't have the time. I was really busy with school and I decided to concentrate on that. It was a bit of a shame because I mean, how often can you experience an Indian, Indian wedding? But yeah, I had to stay here and um, he took our camera with him. So I pre-filmed a few videos because I knew I would be missing the camera for around a week. When I got the camera back, it was the beginning of December and I remember it was December 1st that I wanted to film my next video, which were my November favorites. And then we had new neighbors um, moving in upstairs and the move was so loud. They were walking around, they were hammering, they were uh, drilling and stuff. So I had to give up. I think I tried five or six attempts in filming that video and I just, I was so annoyed at some point that I just stopped filming. And a week later, I also figured out when I wanted to film again that Christopher had actually not put our um, HD card back into the camera, the big one, which I'm using right now as well, where I can just film basically for hours at a time without having to worry. The other two I have here, one is rogue and one is tiny. So basically, I couldn't film. I actually decided, because I was really busy with school, I had a paper to write, um, sorry. Um, a synopsis to write, an oral exam to prepare, and I had an in-class assignment. And those were my last exams um, before I can start writing my master thesis. So they were extremely um, important. I decided to take a little break. I also didn't take the camera with me on vacation to Switzerland and then to Italy. We were in Northern Italy skiing and stuff. I just left the camera at home and decided to take a little break. And yeah, basically today we have the the 10th of January yeah the 10th of January I just had to go for the days and I'm at home at the moment I am basically put all my stuff here um, I am studying for my very last exam which I'm going to have today in a week and um, yeah I hope to be able to film a little bit more at the moment because I'm, like I said, I'm home, I, I'm off from work, so um, all I do is study and then I, I'm planning on filming in the evenings. So we will see how that goes. So that is the reason why I took a little break. Um, let's move on to the exciting news. Um, you heard it, Christopher is living down in Switzerland because he's working there and we got an amazing new apartment down there. 
I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I think I did because in between I was down in Switzerland to help him um, buy some furniture and stuff. Um, now it happens that I was able to get a job in Switzerland as well and I will be moving to Switzerland at the end of February. So in, I think, six? week seven weeks I think it's in seven weeks on Sunday in seven weeks and I'm really really excited I'm in the process of packing I just organized the whole move we have a moving company coming so now all I have to do is pack the boxes and stuff so yeah my life is going to change I will write my master thesis on the side in the evenings which will be exhausting so basically my channel is going to change in two ways at least. Um, obviously the background will change, which I think you don't mind at all. I don't think I will be able to get like a proper nice background set, set up or anything, but we have like really nice plain white walls. So I think I'll just use them in the beginning and then we'll see. But obviously the background will change. You will be able to tell that I'm not here in Little Denmark anymore. And um, then I have to see um, how often I will be able to film because I will have a 42 hour week. I will start working full time within consulting and I'm really excited about that because that's the area I want to go into. So I, I'm just really, really excited about the changes which are coming, but it will be exhausting and I, um, I have to go get there I have to get back home so I will be I will be gone all day and then at night and in the evenings I uh, at night in the evenings um, at night so in the evenings and um, on the weekends I will have to to write my thesis somehow I am currently well I have the exam next Friday after that I'm meeting with my supervisor and then I have I think around six weeks where I will just work I think three days a week and then four days a week I will concentrate on the thesis and I will get as many pages done as possible but it of course has to be somewhat good. So we will see how that goes but um, where there's a will there is a way and yeah I just I just thought this was an amazing opportunity. I mean I got the call for the interview on the Tuesday before I left for Switzerland on Wednesday they confirmed the interview, Wednesday evening was actually my flight going into Zurich and then on Thursday at the interview, on Friday I got the, the yes phone call and on Saturday I already had the contract. So within 96 hours I went from interview to having a work contract and I had applied to so many positions and I got so many rejection emails. I was, at the point I got the call I was extremely frustrated and yeah, I, I just, it was, it was amazing that it all fell into place. So I thought, you know, that is just like how it's meant to be. So I decided to take on the challenge and um, it's just a couple of months that I have to like have double work with the thesis and stuff that will be over at some point. So um, yeah, um, but obviously I will be very busy. So I have to see how much I, I'm actually able to film. There will be um, videos occasionally. They, I hope to, to be able to keep somewhat of um, a regularity in it like I have right now, but I mean now I just had a bigger, bigger break as well. So I hope you don't mind. And yeah, that was all for, that was all for now. That was everything for now. And um, in the next couple of days I'm going to film some more videos. I have a huge bag of used up products here. I'm also still contemplating of doing, you know, an all over 2013 favorites um, video. Like one product from each category, like favorite concealer, favorite foundation, favorite nail polish or something. Um, I haven't really given it too much thought at the moment because like I said, I have to study as well. Um, I also was thinking of talking a little bit about my New Year's resolutions. Um, then something which is really going on in the German YouTube community kind of is um, migraines. And I do suffer from really bad migraine attacks as well. So I was 
thinking about making a video about that as well you know what how my migraine um, is triggered how i found out what triggered my migraines um, what i do against it etc um andrea morgenstern who's an austrian or she's german but she lives in austria and vienna she made a really great video um, about her migraine but every kind of migraine is different and everyone has different tips which might help and might not help so I thought I just joined that because if we all work together and you try out different things from different people then at the end you maybe are able to find the one solution for yourself so I would like to help people with migraines because I've really suffered from them as well Lots of people have also asked about my heart surgery, my radiofrequency ablation, that's what it's called. So I was thinking about making a video about that as well. Um, New Year's resolutions, did I say that already? But yeah, let me know what you would like me to film, just so um, that I have a bit of a clue. I was thinking also doing a bit more of those kind of chatty videos, because I do like to talk and it doesn't always have to be about beauty or fashion or anything so yeah let me know what you like to see and i will see you in my next video bye bye